there's no age limit on looking schnizzled, is there? No. Hey you gorgeous queen, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to lift your gorgeous face. Now I'm thinking of doing a lifted look and then a non-lifted look here so you can kind of see the difference. So let's get started to the video. If that made any sense, let's get started to the video, let's get started. I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments what you want to see next because I really want to accommodate to you beautiful people and show you techniques that I wish I learned when I was starting out or when I just didn't know anything about makeup. So let's get to it. So I'm going to start with cream products. Now on this side, this is going to be the schnizzled lifted side, the uh, side. This is going to be the average side. Nothing wrong with the average side, but right now we're looking for the lifted side. So I'm taking my blush and instead of applying my blush where I would usually apply it, which would be the apples of the cheeks, I don't necessarily think it's important to be smiling. You don't need to smile because we don't smile, we don't walk around like all the time. We're, we're normal, right? So I would apply my blush, instead of applying it here, I would apply it right there. And now a little thing that I love to do is I actually like to lift it up just like this okay i also like to apply a little bit of brush brush <laughs> blush right up here where my brow but my arch of the brow is what is wrong with english today hmm. so that is my blush side now for the average side i'm just gonna apply it right here and i like to personally tap it I know it looks like a lot, but this blends really nicely. Now, when I'm blending it, I want you to... Oh, what is that? I have a scratch on my face. <laughs> anyway, when blending it, I like to blend in circular motions and back. I'm not blending down because, see what that does? I want to blend up. So, I go in circular motions and I blend up. And when I get to this section, I actually like to push it back towards my hairline and up. Do you see what that has done already to my face? Now let's blend this side. I see a lot of people blend up and like that. And look, there is nothing wrong with this side. I don't know if you can tell, but already this side looks more lifted. Now, here's where the fun part starts. Let's do our bronzer. So I'm going with this Sigma brush. Now I'm taking my bronzer. Now for the lifted side, I am actually still applying some right where my temples are. I love this little trick. It really just makes you look like you're pulled. Your hair is really tight and pulled up, but really it's not. So just a little bit and I'm really being light with my hand. Now. With bronzer or contour, you are usually told to go right above your um, ear and you angle it down, which is totally fine. That is, you know, that is kind of actually where you're meant to want, where you can place it, let's say, the Jeanne I don't know. So now if I roll my brush, maybe once, full way, see how that placement just completely changed? So that is where I want to place it. So if you hold your brush to where the front of your E starts and you angle it down. I want you to roll it. It's going the wrong way. One, just one whole way around. Now, right there, I'm gonna put my finger there, just so you can see. And I'm not gonna start it here. I'm gonna start it back here. And I'm very lightly pushing that down. I'm not going past the start of my eye. Very subtle, but oh, what a difference! Now. Let me do this side, okay? So we would apply this right where our actual contour is. Now, like I said, there is nothing wrong with this side. But when it comes to lifting the face, there is. Now, do you already kind of start to see the difference? I also like to apply a bit of bronzer just up here. Even if you have a small forehead, I like to apply just a little bit in this section here. Kind of blending your hair and your head together. I hope that even made sense. That sounded so weird, like kind of the, um, what is that movie? 
where they eat each other's oh my gosh don't even worry it's disgusting now for highlight i would personally apply it right just here and i'd push it back a little bit so kind of where my eyebrow ends and i don't i just go right under there i don't bring it the whole way and do you see how it just mm. Now I don't really like to apply a lot up here because I feel like it kind of can actually age you but I do like to apply just a little bit right there and right here. That I know it's weird but it just kind of gives you a weird lifted effect. Now for this side I would apply it right here. Look, this is a nice placement too, let's not, be, let's not bag it out. Do you see the Genesis Sakura I'm going with? I love to apply a little highlight just above, uh, under my brow bone. Very subtle. Now let me tell you one of the biggest mistakes that people make when going with a lifted look. You can't have a lifted look and then have your eyeshadow go straight. Let me show you what we're going to do. For the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to go in with the same bronzer we use. I personally love starting in with the same bronzer you use on your face. It's just more of a monochrome look. With this side, I'm going to apply it just directly on my eyelid, as I would any eyeshadow. Now, here is the fun trick. Where I placed my brush and contour, it was going up this way. So it was kind of going round and up. So what I'm going to do with my eyeshadow is the exact same thing round and up i know it might look weird but that's why you want to use a fluffy brush and make sure you don't have that much product so less is more you can always apply more if you want so i'm applying it up towards my eyebrow and when i get to my eyebrow here's what i want to do you guessed it i'm flicking it past my eyebrow and you just want to keep going until you're happy with that <laughs> Get so excited. For this eye, I'm going on my lid as well because that's exactly what I would usually do. The only difference is I'm leaving it there. Some underneath because I do that anyway. Now, with this eye, I'm going to just use the same fluffy brush. I'm going to, a little tip if you don't want to, if you don't have a lot of brushes, use the same brush and just kind of squeeze it down. Just be very light when applying it. That's the only thing. You don't need to buy 10,000 brushes to achieve any look, okay? So when I get to the edge, I'm gonna flick it up like so. So now I'm going with a deeper brown and exactly what I did to the lighter brown, I'm doing with the darker brown. The only difference is I'm only starting on the outer edge and I'm very lightly pushing that past my eyebrow. So everything is going in the same direction. Now with this eye, I'm just going to put the deeper shade in the crease like I usually would as well. And I'm just going to blend that in. Nothing crazy. A little trick as well is when you go under the eye, I'm using the same brush. I'm only starting on the outer corner and I am flicking it up. A bonus tip is if you go in with a light pink, I personally like pinkies, photographs really nicely. And this is just like a powder foundation and I'm just stamping this under my eye. Now when I get to this section, I am very carefully going up like that. Now with this eye, I'm just kind of going straight. Okay everyone, this is the final result. A little bonus tip that I don't really share is when you're applying lashes, if you do apply lashes, I personally like to apply them only on the outer corner. Now if you don't want to apply lashes or you don't know how to, a little... Oh, how rude. A little trick I like to do is curl this section only. I have a TikTok video, it's listed below if you want to check it out. I only curl, oh, I don't know what I was just saying there. I only curl this section here. I don't curl the rest of my eyebrow. When I put mascara on, it gives you also that cat eye lifted effect. It's so crazy what the littlest tricks and tips do, but it really does make a big difference. 
I don't know if you can kind of see the difference. I really hope you can. This side to me, just it's beautiful, but it's very just kind of brings my face down a bit. Doesn't really add much to it. Then we go to this side and I feel like she just looks like she's ready to slay. Hello. I'm so feeling myself if you can't tell already. <laughs> Although, yeah. So let me know if you guys like these videos. This video would be really useful for anyone who wants to lift their face without Botox, without filler, without any of this. I do these techniques on my mum all the time and it really just gives her a nice lifted, fresh effect. It's so crazy, but it really does work. Keep slaying and subscribe my gorgeous queens. Let me know if you try this or you want someone else to try it. Send them this video because I'm sure it will be very helpful. It's just those little techniques that we need to also learn as we age because that's something that is inevitable. Even with the filler and the Botox, you still want to look fresh. I still do this and I'm young, but I mean, who cares? There's no age limit on looking schnizzled, is there? No, not really. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so <laughs> I can't get over it. If you want to see some of the videos I do on my mom, I'll list them up here. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, queens.